Meanwhile, folks who wanted to fly rather than drive are seeing plenty of delays. Slippery runways and the de-icing of jetliners have spawned delays at most airports in the storm's path, including Logan. And that's where CBSN Boston's Paul Burton spoke to some travelers trying to get home after the holiday. Canceled flights, long lines, and all types of delays. On Sunday, Logan Airport and South Station were packed with a lot of anxious travelers hoping to beat the storm. Get the heck out. <laughs> we're from Atlanta. We don't see this kind of 14-inch. Frustration. Um, you know, that's pure and simple. Massport says more than 140,000 people are expected to pass through Logan Airport on Sunday. The Plord family is heading to Virginia. They decided to leave a day early. We're supposed to leave tomorrow and go direct. We're traveling through JFK and hopefully the snow hasn't impacted that too much. Stephen Johnson is leaving 10 hours earlier than his original flight. Are you taking an earlier flight? Oh, absolutely. I had a, I had a late flight out to get to uh, get back home, but obviously I don't want to mess with this storm. I'm very nervous, yeah, because I have to work there tomorrow morning, so you gotta get I, there. I gotta get there <laughs> somehow. Virginia Ardia is heading to Florida, but her flight is canceled. Now, what's so, your plan? Well, my granddaughter got me a, a hotel room, so I leave at seven in the morning, but that's pretty iffy too. As you can see, a lot of flights here at Logan have already been canceled, and the height of the storm hasn't even hit yet, so folks are scrambling, trying to figure out their next move so they can get to their destination safely. We were due out Monday. Okay. But Delta started sending out advisories, and we said, let's go. And they had a, a flight out at 640 tonight, so we jumped on it. With the Thanksgiving weekend come and gone, folks know it's time to get back to reality, travel included. I made phone calls to other airlines to see if they could get me out, but uh, everything was sold out. So anyway, here I am. It's life, but it's very frustrating. At Logan Airport, I'm Paul Burton, CBS in Boston.